In early 2014, a cult-like movement started to branch out by the name of Yeezyanity in honor of Kanye West. The founder of Yeezy A described the movement as a forward-minded group who believes that the one who calls himself Jesus is the highest living human being and he will help to usher in a new age of humanity. They also believe that a new age is beginning where all people will unlock their creative powers and the competitive struggle for money and power will no longer be necessary. The members are called Yay Disciples, and it's entirely open and non-exclusive. They allow Yay Disciples to be a member of Yeezyanity as well as any other religion of your choice. Very ecumenical in its approach. The founder of Yeezyanity stated in an interview with Vice in 2014 that it all started off as a tweet that didn't go anywhere, so then he started to put ads up on Craigslist to see where that went and it ended up getting a lot of responses which caused a media buzz. Admittedly, the founder of Yeezyanity reflected on the movement and thought that it was just a rehashing of Christianity but just throwing Jesus instead of Jesus. He said, Jesus is the new thing and described Kanye West as Jesus when he reaches to that God level, which he feels that we all have the potential to do. The Declarations of Faith is a syncretist dream. It starts off with some idolatry saying that I am a God and Jesus is a God. It also has some word of faith notions on there saying that man has the power to create everything he wants and needs. Also with some new age saying that Jesus will lead us into a new age of creativity and I will help usher in the new age of creativity. From a social media standpoint, the movement has been inactive, although it reached over 2,000 followers and there was a slew of tweets in the beginning of the movement in 2014. There has not been any tweets since May of 2014, making it seem like the movement has been very idle over the past five years. However, the founder of Yeezyanity did encourage the believers to post the phrase, I believe in Jesus on social media without even really knowing what it means. Yeezyanity as a whole is an interview, a website, and one YouTube video, which you can see right here. He starts off here by saying that he's frustrated because he has so much to give. Then he talks about that he would no longer be okay with how society portrays people with low self-esteem. Positive message. And then here you get the insertions of people saying, I believe in Yeezyanity and very subtle, but enough to portray the message. Kanye has been saying for years that he's a Christian but if this is truly a conversion experience, Luke 15, 10 says there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. So let's celebrate with this decision. In addition, us Christians must pray that he is under some good leadership and some sound doctrine tutelage that he will continue to walk and mature in his faith. Because as we see with Yeezyanity, it's important for him to denounce that because ultimately God must become greater and we must become less, as it says in John 3.30.